Hey everybody, it's good to talk to you. I just wanna encourage you today and share something that's been on my heart. I posted this in my social media today. I'd like to share it with you. It's a little word that God dropped in my heart to help us locate where we are, where we're going, what God's doing, and what should our response be in this moment of uh, tremendous uncertainty, chaos, and uh, fear in our culture. And here's my little word that I posted. This isn't the end. This isn't the great tribulation. This isn't God's judgment against the world. This isn't yet the second coming of Christ. But what this is, is the unleashing from Satan, the enemy's unleashing of a oppressive wind, a whirlwind of fear and death into the earth, all in an attempt to try to abort the promised great awakening that God has reserved for this generation. God is determined to do something now. The enemy is waging war against it. But the mighty wind of the Holy Spirit, who is God's perfect antidote, the Spirit of God within us and on us, the wind of the Holy Spirit is filling us with hope and faith and inspiring the church to begin to pray powerful prayers and release anointed prophecies filled with the life of God that will shorten the duration and stop the intention of the enemy's weapon. This is the hour for the church to arise, to stand in faith and to vanquish fear. That's what God wants us to do, to overcome fear. I believe a couple of important things are gonna happen as we do that. A cure, I believe, I'm gonna prophesy this, a cure will be discovered for this diabolical disease and almost simultaneous to that discovery, many other diseases that have been sought for cures for a long time will be suddenly broken through and there'll be a medical breakthrough. The two sides of this demonic sword attacking both people's health and their finances, the church and God's people are going to overcome. We're in the birth pangs of the greatest move of God in world history and the enemy has no authority to stop it. A great outpouring of joy is going to fill the hearts of God's people as we passionately continue to worship God and share his love with anyone around us who's lost, hurting, confused, or afraid. God has a plan and, and for us as the church, God's not surprised by anything that's happened and God's not on the run, God's not taken back and God's not in any way fearful. And so in his kingdom, God reasserts his authority, his sovereignty, his grace in our hearts and helps us to emerge differently. This is our hour to shine. You know how we shine? We shine by walking in faith. We shine by being unafraid. We shine by being arbiters of hope. And hope is an expectation of good things in the future. You know that you've conquered fear when you have a hopeful heart. Whatever is happening in your mind, your heart, your world, your finance, your family, the uncertainty of your future, the Holy Spirit wants to give you hope today that he is going to help you through this season, strengthen you, empower you, that your faith in Christ, your faith in God's promises, your faith in God's kingdom will be rewarded and you're gonna see God do amazing things. Whatever this thing is, it's an activity of the enemy, and we have authority to stand up against it, to rebuke it, to resist it, to defy it boldly in the name of Jesus. Let us do that. At the same time, let us love the people around us that are hurting, that have been assaulted by the fearfulness, the uncertainty, or even the physical pain of this season. Let's be the instruments of God's kingdom, the instruments of God's love, and let's make a difference. I declare over your life in Christ's name, the best is yet to come and God's gonna work this for your good. And that God's gonna help you have a heart filled with faith, filled with hope and overwhelming with overcoming and over flooded with joy. May God give you a joyfulness that becomes an attractive beacon, a light of hope to a world that's uh, sad and sorrowful and, and grieving and confused and fearful. The joy of the Lord is our strength, and that joy comes from our Jesus. It comes from faith in his promises. It comes from standing boldly in his kingdom. It comes from knowing how good God is. My dear friends today, the joy of the Lord be with you. The hope of God be with you. May faith arise in you, and may you know that God is fighting for you, and he's going to help you through this season.